We have a saying around here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no brains, no headache. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, boys. What's up? Son, where'd you find this? <laughs> Welcome to episode 194 of No Brains, No Headache podcast. My name's Jordan. I'm going to be your host today, as always. Happy to be here. Damn glad to do it. You know the drill. And I'm joined with my co host, confident, longtime friend, fellow comedian. His name is Matt Cleary. I call him Ongo. He's wearing the yellow. Matt, how art thou? Good. How, how art thou doing? Quick turnaround. You know, I'm doing well. Well, been busy going out of town, flying first class. You know, getting job done. Well, th- this will be out after you come back. Yep. So let's just we'll ask you about your trip, and you're just gonna have to predict what you did. Yeah. So you look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. Nice headband, really solid flow today. It really helps the bad hairline. Yes, it, it takes up a few inches there. But hey, we got somebody else in the studio. Oh. Continuing our streak of low-grade local talent. <laughs> <laughs> we got our good friend and fellow comedian here, Cole Pick. Cole, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Making your no brains, no headache debut. What do you think of this masterclass studio? <laughs> So, uh, actually, Matt texts me and he goes, uh, hey, do you need the address? And I was like, yeah, I've never been there before, which yeah, I have been here before. I thought, I, I thought the studio was a studio. I didn't know it was a closet in Matt's basement. First off, it's a bedroom. No, I know. I know Guys, it's a studio, okay? We don't get, have to give away all of the production it's tricks. A- it's like the the man cave, you know? It's like, get out of the man cave, Mom. It's like, no, that's my basement, Cole. <laughs> Well, welcome. Okay, yeah, this man, is uh, you know, one of the best in town. I think it might be one of the only ones in town. Yeah, <laughs> out of all the no brains, no mm-hmm. headache studios, this is it's top two. The creme de la creme. I, yeah, I was at a networking event the other day, and they're talking about like somebody who helps with podcasting, and they're like, "Yeah, hit hit him up for your help with your podcast." And I was like, "How many podcasts are going on around here right now?" I, I, had, I had someone reach out, and he was like a DJ, and he's like, hey, do you need help mixing your podcast? And I was like, no, that's kind of what the mixer does. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'll take half if you yeah, it's, just it's, want it's, me to adjust levels a little bit. You can bit. profit share. It's pretty easy to split zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How about we debt share? Right. <laughs> yeah. Go in on some new mics or something. At this point, it's practically running a charity. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad to donate my time. Yeah, yeah, volunteering you. your time to entertain the fine listeners of No Brains, No Headache podcast. The mindlessly entertaining show coming to you from uh, Bismarck, North Dakota here. Only some of the best talent I've ever had in this in this room or on a Zoom or or digitally, virtually. Yeah, he was telling me that uh, I was, we were admiring the wall back there, and I was, <laughs> I was curious about the one way up north. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was our buddy from Canada. We also have a... Uh, a uh, calendar there that's a b- behind about two months now, coming up on three months behind. Yeah, so. I noticed that way. It took me way longer to realize that's an old calendar than I should have. I was, yeah, my okay. gaze was averted <laughs> elsewhere. Jungus, yeah, the rack behind <laughs> me, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Yeah, we haven't really gotten around to decorating the new setup, but I that's think, just that's just part of the yeah. no brains, no headache way. I think that's just part of being a young man is having a calendar that is constantly not on the right month. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. no more to go. That's <laughs> that's it. That, that round <laughs> ran out, so we need a whole another one. If I mean, anybody would like, send us a calendar. We'll hang it up. Did you have has, something to say, like, Yeah, so maybe if it has like cars or something on it. Because, you know, boobs just don't do it for me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you big car guy, you yeah. Subaru legacy yeah. motherfucker. He's biting his lips yeah. watching the Transformers movies. I, you put my balls in the muffler. I actually, I took a jab at the Subaru ownership yesterday. Do you recognize that? No. I did the top five reasons why I oh. hate myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number five was I'm a proud owner of a Subaru. And I'm like, oh, wait, this is actually my top five reasons I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> the old bait and switch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that, that's I love, classic. I love that one clip that's just that lady. She's like, I drive a Subaru because I'm gay. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's good clean family fun. Or the the outbacks, outback at an outback. Oh, I don't know if that's too much for you to comprehend. I'm an Australian yeah, lesbian that. at an American steakhouse. You don't have to be Australian to enjoy outback steakhouse. It's the American way. <laughs> you just steal the ideas, bring them here. We also we do that with every restaurant because there's a lot of restaurants that's like, oh yeah, this is Mexican food, and like people from Mexico come here like, this is not what yeah, Mexican food. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Don't talk shit about In and Out Burger. Okay, I'm withdrawing right yeah. now, and I'm kind of on edge. That's just American though. Like that is that is hardcore, fundamentally American food. We we make it our own and then argue with the people that actually do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like no, I'm pretty sure uh, we use hamburger meat in our pasta. <laughs> yeah, we we did it the old fashioned way. We stole it from the Eskimos. Shit. Well, let's start right there. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Okay, let's party. The rice bowl. Rice bowl. It seems to be your. <laughs> we have Chinese restaurant here. Yeah, yeah. you um, can see the rundown if you'd like to know what we're about to talk yeah. about. I was, I was like, I didn't know if I was supposed to look at it. No. Yeah, it's, it's like the what do I do with I's, my hands? But it's like, where do I look? Eyes here. Um, yeah, I mean, you might be in the minority of being the only white dude that works for a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, no, it definitely. Uh, it's whitened up, you know. It's, <laughs> when I first started, there was a lot less white people there, but uh, as we do, we're <laughs> overtaking it, you know. <laughs> do you think like Chinese restaurant have to check off certain boxes for diversity the way like white people have to do it? It's just like okay, we need uh, we yeah, can't all be Asian here. The, the yeah. running the running thing there is that ninety five percent of the white people that they hire are named Cole. Well, that's 33%. But, uh, 95% of the employees um, have marijuana dependencies. <laughs> I deliver food and drugs. Yeah. I, uh, the first time I ever smoked weed at a job was 420 uh, at Rice Bowl. My coworker had a dab pen. He's like, take a hit. And I was like, dude, I'm serving tables. I don't smoke weed like that. He's like, come on, it's 420. Don't be a bitch. So I, I go outside and I take a big rip. What I thought At was at least a big you're rip. nice enough to head outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah instead yes. of to the bathroom. Well, I was outside smoking a cigarette and then he, <laughs> he came back from delivery and but uh so I take a big rip and he's like, Come on, dude, bigger than that. So I, I <laughs> dude, I didn't I didn't even exhale two. <laughs> he, he didn't he didn't even like push you like that hard. He just I, said one thing and you're like, All right. Well, I was like, I just want to be cool, man. This guy's got a neck tattoo. <laughs> but uh, um, where's so, where's he at in his life yeah. right now? <laughs> he, if you check busted newspaper, he's on there four times within the last year. So wow. yeah, doing well. I think it's a fentanyl distribution. <laughs> That's not a joke, uh, um, <laughs> but I haven't even exhaled the first hit yet. You know, like with a dab pen, it's not like a cigarette. You can feel the smoke. So I'm like, <sighs> he's like, don't be a bitch. So I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> you know, just a cloud coming out of my face. I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> he's, and he's just like crying, laughing. And I'm blasted stone. <laughs> and, uh, so I go back in. I'm doing my thing. It was actually pretty slow for a 420 at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> a lot of fat white dudes. Yeah, but I uh, I go back in, hanging out, serving tables, trying my best to be a human, and my fucking grandma walks oh, in. Oh god! <laughs> and I uh, so I serve her, and she's kind of a kooky old lady. She passed away, but um, last so I cut her hair when I moved back, I started cutting her hair and she's a stoner. Like we, we smoked weed on holidays together. Like we're, you know, the walk the cousins take, yeah, it was Cole and grandma, grandma went for a walk. And <laughs> nice. Yeah. So that's a memory to cherish yeah. right there. But uh, well, I was cutting her hair one time and cause back then I was like kind of hush hush with my family about weed, but uh, they all realize how disappointing I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> they put two and two together. Yeah. They figured it out. What's the last thing you did with your grandma? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, no, that, that I at uh, the Dakota stage show, I had a joke about it where it's like most people when their grandparents die, you inherit like a fine china set, maybe a little money or something. I inherited like 400 grams of edibles. <laughs> 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 like, that's what I got from old grandma. But uh, I, I was telling her, I was like, yeah, you remember a couple of years ago on 420, you came into the, uh, to the rice bowl and I, I served you and she's like, yeah. 
I was like, I was so fucking stoned. She's like, I didn't know. I was like, why? She's like, I was probably stoned. (laughs) (laughs) She's the bitch that uh, the North Dakota weed isn't as good as the California. (laughs) So true stoner (laughs) through and through. It's mostly oregano up here. (laughs) She had her, she had her card and everything. Oh, damn. Yeah. True patriot. (laughs) When, uh, when she lived in California, she used to grow her own weed. You can like legally have like five plants, can't you? Uh, so back then you couldn't have any legally, oh. but the cops wouldn't do anything if you had less than six or something like that. Oh. So someone broke into her house. So she called the cops and the cops are like looking around for evidence or whatever they're doing. And they walk in the backyard and they just see a bunch of weed plants. And he goes, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that and just walks away. <laughs> uh, that's too much work. Yeah, <laughs> California in the seventies, man. <laughs> that's nuts. Well, that's just what you got to do is, yeah. is let it fly <laughs> and not smoke the ditch weed of North Dakota. Yeah. I, for Christmas, she got me a California weed one time. It was in a pill bottle. I was like, this is really strange. Did but, you open it in front of everyone? No. Well, she was stoned when she gave it to me. So she's like, here, take this. And she's trying to do like the drug handoff, but she's stoned and an old lady. So she's just fumbling the whole thing. <laughs> Does the thing like, yo, what up, playa? <laughs> but it's a pill bottle it just falls out of her hand that's awesome smoking the reefer with grandma yeah well pour one out for grandma terry (laughs) right in the studio carpet that's (laughs) too much of a difference than what's already in there semen and semen i'm pretty sure i'm the only person who's came in the studio okay Okay, so let's just oh matt and i were here for a little bit before you got a couple jerk off sessions but uh can we talk about matt's chair it's not really a chair. Yeah. It's an ergonomic chair. I, I fucking hate it. <laughs> well, I think you're sitting in his is, and it's broken, I think. Yeah, yeah my, it is. My, my fat ass <laughs> broke that chair. Yeah, I have to be leaned way forward or way back or else I get this strange clicking. Yep, that'll happen. I mean, I stole that chair fair and square, so. <laughs> As all good thieves do. <laughs> Most items in the studio are stolen. So That's what he was telling me. That keg, that. What that, about the desk? A uh, desk we bought. So, look, at, look at Matt's fine carpentry skills. Yeah, well, I got that down there. <laughs> <laughs> Just loose metal hanging by my feet. It, does, right. it doesn't go in anymore. I tried. <laughs> mm. It's a fatal flaw in a $119 <laughs> desk. <laughs> you get what you pay for sometimes in life. I just have to take the grinder and just get rid of that thing. You know, It's providing nothing. <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> It's much like my presence in this podcast. I don't contribute much. <laughs> You're easy on the yeah. eyes to look at, you know. Not even that. Oh, all right. I tried my best there. <laughs> just check off the box of diversity with Matt here as the ginger. <laughs> yep. I don't know. You know, like Asians get a lot of hate. You know, the blacks get a lot of hate. What about the gingers, you know? Nobody seems to like them. Yeah. It, it, the day that South Park episode I was came just out gonna say, literally changed the course of my life. Were you ever a Copper Cab fan? Mm-mm. Oh, he was a, a ginger who would just go on YouTube and post videos of him in a trailer park yelling at the world because he's was a ginger. Was that the guy that was like, gingers do have souls? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of a cult hero for us. <laughs> he's your Michael then. Jordan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we looked up to him like... Muslims look up to Allah, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but R.I.P. to that guy. Was that how it went? No, I don't think so. It was basically the South Park episode came out, and literally everyone was like, "Fucking ginger!" The next day, I'm like, "Well, this is great." I have a client who he found out that I do stand up, and ever since then, he every time he comes in, he's like, he's and he's also like Russian. So he's like, hey, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes. I'll refrain from using his name. He's like, do you know what they call a uh, missed call on a ginger's phone? And I'm like, no, what do they call that? Wrong number. <laughs> and I'm like, that is just like the worst joke. <laughs> he, he tells me dad ginger jokes. I don't get it. The joke is that no one actually intends to call oh, a ginger. Yeah. Uh-huh. It is true. Yeah, <laughs> I get like five phone calls a week. Four of them are spam, and the other one's my mom. I was gonna say your, your mom asking why you're not at her house. Yeah, it's uh, she doesn't know how to text, so it's kind of a tough situation all around. 
I don't think I've ever met your mom, and I don't think I ever want to. If, just because I like the the uh, the mystery of what your parents. Oh, are. she's an awesome lady. Um, but you, you'd like if you saw her in public, be like, "Oh, that's Matt's mom." Oh, really? <laughs> like, you, you, it's I, just you without a mustache, or essentially. What? Well, she's just flaming red hair, ginger. Nice. Yeah, gingivitis. <laughs> just really, really went rampant. Chicken stick. Did it even work? I don't know. Oh. Matt got some new desk decor, so watch us on YouTube so you can check that out. And we some, got our some award. sort of nightlight. Oh, the award! Yeah, let's let's go through the award. Congratulations, Cole is the host of the Jimmy V's Open Mic Night, and uh, last night actually was the one year anniversary, so we kept it going for that long. <laughs> the, uh, okay, that's <laughs> unnecessary. Didn't we just say about phone calls? Yeah. I get a phone call all day long. <laughs> is it Matt's mom? <laughs> and this is nor this is normal for the podcast. I didn't get a phone call all day long. Mm-hmm. We're fifteen minutes in, <laughs> and somebody has the fucking audacity <laughs> to call me. You know what the best part about Jordan getting a ah! phone? <laughs> it's it's his freak out when he gets, yeah. <laughs> or he'll get like an email and he'll be like, "What the fuck?" Oh, I'm oh I've had to have Matt talk me through an email before. <laughs> And it was, it was like, it's like, oh, like your Google account has been updated. And he's like, motherfucker. That's the there's worst. A, there's a security sign in. It, it was me. <laughs> I signed it. You don't got to fucking tell me. <laughs> security alert. Security alert. It's like, wow, you just, the, all the alert is, is just a fucking unread email in my inbox. That's you know that thing is. you did 10 seconds ago? You did that thing 10 seconds ago. It's like, yeah, thank you. I know I tried to sign in, bitch. <laughs> And it's always wrong. It's always like, it's an iPhone in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah. It's like, well, we are in Bismarck. but Yeah, I mooched my parents' uh, Prime account. And uh, the other day it said, uh, iPhone in Colorado. And my dad's like, are you in Colorado right now? I was like, no, I'm in Bismarck. Why? He's like, did you just sign into Amazon? It's like, yeah, I did. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. uh, now you're as bad as the fucking Google alert, dude. <laughs> Anyone from China, they probably think it's like Los Angeles, Las Vegas, New York, and Texas as a whole. And they're like, <laughs> that's all the US is. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I always love the interaction when you tell somebody something very clearly. Like, oh, for example, I'm going to the bar tonight. You're like, oh, you're going out drinking tonight? It's just like. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, what did I just say yeah. four <laughs> seconds ago? Thank you for repeating that to yeah. me. Nothing gets by yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> In college, I had a roommate who was like that. Like, you know, it's a classic college house, very small quarters, old house. It was an awesome party house, but uh, the kitchen was very confined. And, like, to get kind of through, you had to go past the oven. So if you're at the oven cooking something on the stovetop, uh, <laughs> this roommate would always be like, you'd be like making pancakes, but like, making pancakes, huh? And it's just like, <laughs> yeah, what do you want one? Or what, what are we getting at here? <laughs> like, what are you doing? What does it fucking look <laughs> like I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets by you. Wow. I'm really glad you're going to be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Turn Bluetooth off. So I hope you get another call. And they the called blue- twice. Bluetooth didn't turn off and then <laughs> put an end to this. <laughs> Lose my number. <laughs> uh, Cole, you're a barber. Cut hair. Let's, let's talk about that. Um, did you immediately go into barber school leaving <laughs> high school? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Cause I was like, I don't think I know anyone that's no, done that. I'm a, uh, so I graduated in 2016. I didn't go to barber school till like 2021 i think oh shit yeah so i literally like when i met you guys is basically when i became a licensed barber um so i graduated high school and so i have a twin sister she went to college so i was like well at least she's doing i mean it. <laughs> one of us has to disappoint our parents yeah, exactly. so. <laughs> Dude, so we had a graduation party together you know because <laughs> we're twins so it's like, like two you know two birds one stone so I remember got, when I was gay. Yeah, we got family like from California and all around, you know, coming coming to town. Kayla's going to you, Mary, you know, to become a nurse or whatever. Cole, what are you gonna do? Um I don't know, probably get a job. 
All right. As yeah. you're just in the back patio smoking a J with yeah. grandma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, I don't know. Slamming ribs and fucking <laughs> being disappointing. Yeah. Cole, what are you going to do? You're just covered in barbecue yeah. sauce. <laughs> no, I, uh, so when I graduated, I was like, I remember the drive home my last day of senior year. I was like, I fucking did it. I graduated. I didn't think I would. I almost didn't actually. There's a story there, but, um, so I did it. I graduated I'm driving home and I'm like, I'm free. And then I was like, well, I guess I have to get a job. Well, that's full time. I don't need an apartment. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, like the, I felt adulthood hit me like a fucking truck. Because I didn't think I'd make it that far. You know, there's part-time jobs out there. Yeah. I assumed I'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, no. So, you can work uh, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking life advice from this guy. <laughs> Call the part-time job, yeah. you know? I have 19 part-time jobs, <laughs> two hours a week at each. <laughs> My taxes yeah. are ridiculous. But okay, so that's what I was going to say, though. So after I graduated, I I, uh, I got a job, and I quit that job, and I got another job. There was one year where I had seven W-2s. <laughs> I had to do seven W-2s. I, uh, I, I was just trying to find, like, what I wanted to do and, like, what I like to do. So I did, like sales for at&t i sold phones i i worked at target GameStop, a nursing home um i worked at rice bowl i worked at menards i uh worked at a shooting range i've i've i probably had more jobs than most people you know i heard samson when he was on here i think he said he had like 30 jobs or yeah. so, something crazy like that i i'm i'm not that bad but i'm i'm like up there seven in one year at least that's more that's more than double the amount of jobs i've had in my entire life in one year yeah <laughs> and i didn't stay at a job usually longer than a year so damn well i was thinking when you were talking about being a disappointment um one of my friends <laughs> <laughs> was he was getting married and at the reception his dad gets up to give a speech and he's like goes through all of his siblings like my son andrew is a doctor my other son brian is in his last year of medical school, my daughter Amy is a nurse practitioner, and Brad, my friend that was getting married, is enjoying his life working at Anytime Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Just dunked on. Yeah. I was like, oh! Even, even at his wedding, he yeah, couldn't win. And, like, and everyone was like, didn't really know how to react, and then there's me, 40 beers in, just dying laughing at the head table. <laughs> Matt spit out his beer, yeah. probably. Yeah. Oh, it was it was maybe the greatest the moment of my Ky life. Kyle's joke last night. <laughs> He's like, if you ever feel bad about yourself, look at Matt and his siblings or whatever. Oh, said. yeah. So everyone's running for politics, and Matt runs away from politics. <laughs> well, Matt's doing just fine. You yeah. know? No, no, we're proud of him. I'm look at, look at his layer he is. Yeah. Yeah. Created. Yo, dude. Yeah, you, you don't have people that have a lacrosse helmet. That's mine. Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah. um, you don't I need even to have sell that. that. Uh, <laughs> I need to sell that. I'm short on cash, right? Now. That's one of his part-time jobs. Dude, we went selling it. used sports equipment. <laughs> that's yeah, a, it is. That's essentially <laughs> what we were doing. We're like a summer. Like Jordan goes into a garage sale. I'm like, there's nothing in there, and then he walks out later with like that lunchbox <laughs> and a lacrosse helmet. I was wearing the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I like, put the helmet on immediately. I will say the lunchbox is awesome. Watching a lot of games. Should I wear the lacrosse helmet for the remainder of this? <laughs> <laughs> my big ass head doesn't fit in it. <laughs> All right, yeah. I will, I guess. I think my whole head is bigger than that helmet. <laughs> Dude, have you seen how big Dom's head is? Yeah. It is aggressive. All right, here goes nothing. I fit into this thing. Youth lacrosse oh, helmet. Like a glove. Oh, or yeah. A helmet. Oh, yeah. We're strapped up now, boys. Oh, fuck. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, God. I can't get it off. All right. He's going to have cauliflower ear by the end of this fucking Can't game. really talk properly. My chin <laughs> is locked in place. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> We're having fun. Yeah. Uh, Cole. Should we get Cole Stone on the show? Yeah, up? I, I, don't know, I, I knew you for like six months before I knew that your last name wasn't Pitch. <laughs> yeah, you and every other person I've ever met. Dude, I went to a show that you were on one time, and the guy hosting it straight up said your last name wrong. I'm like, I feel like if I was hosting a show, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had, I would ask, like, oh, how do you say your last name? No. no. The other day, I, I walked into a... How many people get it right? 
Almost none. Yeah, okay. Almost, you know, the people who get it right probably have like, I'm not German, but they probably have German like heritage or something like the CH, you know, being a K. I feel yeah, like who would it have a name like that? Fucking asshole. Weichel. Yeah, like, I'm writing yeah. the book. My name is Weichel, not Uku. Oh, one time in the fifth grade. <laughs> so I'm the, I'm the youngest of three people. And this <laughs> story is uh, relevant because Matt and I went to elementary school. I can't get over the <laughs> yeah. cross. That's what I'm laughing. You guys just gotta get over it. <laughs> okay. If what you d- say you can't see color, then act like you can't see this helmet on I, my head. I, I, I like, would rather have a black person. <laughs> see him. I'm just laughing at the way he's like leading. He's like, you know, one time in the fifth grade, like he's reminiscing while he's wearing a fucking lacrosse. <laughs> he's, 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 he's like, it's not mind. there, but I can't get through it. I'm just not gonna look at you. I'm gonna try to drink a beer after with this thing on. That should be fun. <laughs> Just spill it all over you. Stone cold. No, I was the youngest of three, so this teacher had both my brother and sister in class already prior to me and refused to get my name right. What grade were you? Fifth? That was fifth grade. Oh, God. And, yeah, one day I snapped. (laughs) That's when the anger issue started pretty early on. And I would just, like, purposely, I was like, it's Weichel, mister. And then I purposely said their name wrong. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, there's that German stubbornness coming out of the left field. Uh, Fifth grade's right around the time I found out that I wasn't smart. (laughs) (laughs) Gay. Fifth grade's also when I figured out I was gay. (laughs) (laughs) We had a spelling bee, and he's like, spell Frankfurter. And I just went and sat down. (laughs) It's like everyone else got corn. I'm over here trying to spell a 14 letter word. <laughs> Figured you'd know that one because of hot dogs, though. What if it's like spell Frankfurter and I'm just like H O T D O G, suck my dick. <laughs> I like that with Matt. Uh, when you see him for his day job, like when I cut his hair and he comes in while he's at work, he looks like a professional 30 something, you know? But right now he looks like a fucking competitive hot dog eater. <laughs> like if that dude he does, just, if he, he does. was swallowing fucking Red's whole, I'd yeah, he's, he's dunking surprised. his buns in a glass of water. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I do love Red hot dogs. <laughs> I do have some hot dogs upstairs. I could go make a couple. Actually, they're brats. Ah. Is this weird? Okay, I got brats, and I was using tortillas instead of buns. No, that's not cool. <laughs> if you were in college, I would be like, yeah, no, do what you gotta. So it's not okay? No. Because I was eating it, and my roommate was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'll, I I don't know if I can judge, though, because I've been eating a lot of tuna sandwiches. Oh, canned tuna? Bagged. I don't know if that's worse. Or... It's worse. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, yeah, I actually got fresh tuna in North Dakota. No, no it's it's star kiss or whatever it is. You're in your backyard, you're like, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Cutting up some tuna chops? Yeah. You guys want to come over and flay some tuna with me later? It's just I'm like not a fan carb. of tuna at all. Uh, I like tuna like in sushi. Yeah, th- there's nothing respectable about what I'm talking about. Yeah, th- this isn't like a, a fun sushi I roll. think respect went out the window when we started this, and then it really bottomed out when Jordan is put on. <laughs> and on guys, still- <laughs> can we get over it? Come on, let's be mature adults here. Mature. All right, all right. <laughs> God. Who, who has better hair, Matt or me? I am. I don't have a lot of hair left. I can answer that yeah, one. But it's nice and red, and it's got the flow to it. Mine's just black, straight hair. It's I think. Boring. I think you have the safer head. Okay. okay. But I think Matt's got some curl to it, a little, yeah, a little fun does. texture to he it. Does. Yeah. I decided that I'm going to grow my hair out just because it's easier to cover up the gigantic <laughs> yeah. bald spot I have on yeah. the top of my head. <laughs> That that's where we get into the, uh, the <laughs> see. And, and you're my barber, and I I didn't I didn't get like a holy fuck like every time you're cutting my hair. You're like, you realize you have a three inch gap back here. <laughs> People say that to me. They're like, "How come you didn't let me know I had a bald spot?" It's like, what do you want me? Like, yeah, do you want me to react like that? <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! Just start shampooing. I'm like, eesh. <laughs> it's a little too late for that. And get an orange marker. Let's fill it in. Or <laughs> It's just a highlighter. Dave gets a highlighter from the back. <laughs> Don't some people tattoo the top of their head to make it? Yeah, and it almost never looks good. I mean, there's one guy that I think can pull off like a tattooed head, and it's Tun Jones from the show uh, Auction Hunters. Deep cut? Yeah. Deep cut. 
Are you talking just face tats? Or no, he has, like his... he has like his tat, his head is tattooed, yeah. and it is. How do you spell this guy's name? Ton Jones. Like T O N? Yeah. Like a shit ton? Yeah. <laughs> ton Jones. Shit ton Jones. That's just a head tat, Matt. I'm talking about some like, people, people like tattoo their hairlines and stuff on. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, that's just a head tat. <laughs> it's very clearly. Yeah. just... I thought that's what we were talking about. I mean, kind then he of. purposely tattooed on but a receding he, but he hairline. His head. <laughs> That'd be funny if he just tattooed a hairline, but then still bicked it. That's the cool thing. There's a picture of him here that where he's shirtless. And uh, that's the cool thing about tattoos is you can be a fat fuck like Tun Jones. <laughs> yeah, look at his fucking, look at these hot dogs on the back of his neck. Yeah. What is, is that a penis? <laughs> Have you seen Carlos Boozer got, <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like mine. <laughs> it's, it's essentially uh, like Ted 2 when he's like, he's like, watch this, types in California. And it's like, did you mean Blackhawks? <laughs> <laughs> look at Car- <laughs> Carlos Boozer's hair. Oh, see, that's that's kind of what we were talking about. Yeah, we, and you can only like the thing is, if you do that, you can only have your hair like buzzed for the rest of your life, like tighter than mine. You know, that, well, that wasn't a tattoo. He got like something on it and then he forgot that he had an NBA game that day because it takes like a day or something. Oh, How do the, you forget you have an NBA <laughs> game. Yeah, it's I don't know. That's like, that's essentially like me being like, oh, I didn't know I had to go to work on Wednesday yeah. when I work an eight to five job Monday through Friday. Yeah, that, that looks like hair enhancements. So basically it's like spray on hair. Ugh. Which again, I should look into that. Yeah. <laughs> How do you... You need plugs in Jesus. <laughs> I need to go to Turkey and go to the hair academy. <laughs> Dude, it works. Let them practice on you. Can I they should do just... ginger hair? Does it matter what color the hair is? Well, literally, they just pull it out of the back of your head and put I it th- into the top. They just take it off my ass. <laughs> oh, good game, guys. <laughs> just sweating. <laughs> just pull out my mouth guard. Should we do a whole episode of mouth guards? <laughs> <laughs> You do like a Super Bowl episode where everyone's in full gear. That's that's an option. <laughs> Chuck it down for next Just, year. Yeah. It's a write off. Jordan, I have a a big ass afro. You could literally do an entire episode as Ben Wallace. <clears throat> yeah, you were Randy Moss that one time. Was that when we did the bartending clip? Oh I yeah, dressed up as a ref, and you were Randy, you oh, were yeah. Randy Moss jersey. I, I'm not a big sports guy, but I know that Matt should not be playing Randy. Well, Moss. I was trying to tell him to do blackface, and he just <laughs> like, wasn't for it. And I was like, "Okay, well, I guess just you're not going to look like put Randy." The stuff on his hair, just put that on your face. And then, you know. the three tabs I have open is Titanic crew members do PCP, Zach Efron films, and Carlos Boozer bad hair. That sounds like someone who's on PCP has access to Google. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's no correlation to any of that. That's like, no, you're high on meth and top first three things that pop into your head. Go. No, I was talking like a couple weeks ago. I was talking about uh, the guy at Pompeii that was like, he yeah. was jerking off last minute sesh. Yeah. And Jordan's like, oh yeah. And he like starts typing it in and it like auto populates. Cause we're signed into the same email account. <laughs> it's like, I clearly looked up Pompeii jerk off. Yeah. before. <laughs> it's the only way I can get off. <laughs> So Pompeii and cars are yeah. how you get out yeah. now, I guess. Put a potato in a muffler and one in my asshole. Um, how do you become a barber? Do you just have to, like, give a bunch of bad haircuts? Or, yeah. <laughs> like, and where, where do you go? Like, Cole, get off to the state pen. Yeah. No, there's a barber schools in Fargo. That's, like, the only place in North Dakota to go. And you just pay. Shocker. Yeah, you just pay them uh you know, 10 grand or whatever. And then you, you go to school for 1500 hours and like you, you punch literally, it's just being a barber, but you give bad haircuts and you pay to do it instead of getting paid. So, so like you give people free haircuts. No, the school collects the money. Oh, that's, so I, I say, Hey Matt, here's they still 10 charge for this. And they, yeah. and, so and, I go, and they don't take it off your tuition. No, I go, Hey Matt, here's 10 grand. And you're like, thank you, Cole. You're a student now. <laughs> Is it- and then Jordan comes in, I give him a bad haircut. He gives you $9 <laughs> and then I might get a tip. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay, so it was like a massively discounted haircut. Yeah, they're nine of- bucks, and you're cutting like homeless people and college students and all sorts of shit. Uh, Tom at the barber shop, we went to school together, and uh, when he went, he was ready for it. When I went to barber school, I was I was I moved to Fargo on like a two month whim, and uh, I was dating this girl, and it was a big thing. Uh, <laughs> 
So I go to barber school in Fargo. <laughs> Must have really panned out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah how's, how's that going? <laughs> yeah, uh, she went lesbian for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, we just I, talked I, about that. Yeah, I, can't wait, I can't wait to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have two and a half past lesbian girlfriends. <laughs> half? Uh, yeah, it can be bisexual. Yeah, <laughs> if they're bi, that's yeah, you banged half. your dishwasher the other week. Nobody <laughs> seems to have yeah. a problem with that. <laughs> it's the scene from uh, 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 what is it with Seth Rogen when he's dating like the chick in high school? Pineapple Express. Pineapple yeah. Express. When he's like, "How do you get a half a time?" He's like, "I don't know. I dunked a ball." <laughs> <laughs> I believe maybe you're talking about knocked up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's Seth Rogen, either way. But you get your movies right. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Cole, yeah. you uh, kind of threw us off the whole lesbian yeah. comment. Yeah. Sorry. That'll happen. She yeah. threw me off, too. <laughs> I guess I threw her off. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Somebody got thrown off. Yeah. I threw her off on sexuality. She threw me off on life course. Okay. But uh, So, um, yeah, what what the fuck was I saying? You moved to Fargo on a whim. You're oh, dating yeah. lesbians. So, oh, so so when I moved there, I did not have money saved up. Oh. I was like dirt broke. <laughs> you, um, you do life the right way. <laughs> yeah. No, Tom Tom moved there and he like had savings. You know, he he didn't have a job while he was there. He just went to school. Um, so what he did was every month he would take all of his tips and put it in an envelope, and he saved up all of his tips in barber school for a year. And then at the end of the year, he counted all of it. It was two thousand nine hundred dollars. Wow! That was an annual income of a barber school student. <laughs> I guess for some reason, I thought that that's a lot. Yeah, but. yeah. Until you, you know, the, what the average is fifty thousand, and he made almost three. Yeah, you know, that's, that's tough. The, <laughs> just on tips, though. Yeah. So. How many haircuts were you given a day? Um, I so I was giving, and how many? students are at the school at one time um 13 at a time as far as students go i was doing anywhere from like two to 15 haircuts a day it just kind of depended on it's it like, that's like fucking huge range <laughs> yeah yeah no it's barber school so here's the thing here's like in bismarck people are like man i went to great clips and i got fucked up the thing is so i'm in barber school i'm cutting men's hair all day uh, there's no barber schools here they're cosmetology schools yeah so they're doing like we'll say two men's haircuts a week, right? Mm -hmm. In cosmetology school, they graduate and then they get a job immediately at great clips. Uh, Hannah at the barber's wife, when she went to school, she did five men's haircuts the whole time she was there. She went to school so she could become a barber. So what my point being, when you come out of school, you don't know shit about cutting hair because you don't cut that much hair, Yeah, but you legally can go fuck people up and get paid to do it. I what I don't get is like, oh, great clips fucked up my hair. It's like you paid eight dollars. <laughs> They're up to like twenty one now. Whoa. See, and yeah. at that point, it's like if someone's like, oh, pay fifty bucks for a haircut. That's so much. But it's like you get one once every like two to three months. Yeah. It's like if you can't afford two hundred dollars yeah. a year, <laughs> reevaluate your life. My thing is like I know that we're on the spendier side, you know, but I'd like to think that we're worth it um people are always like cut my hair man it's like okay well here's my price here's my schedule They're like well you can't just like squeeze me in just come over and i'll give you like 20 bucks cash it's like are you out of your fucking mind yeah. you ever done a house call i have i charge for house calls like i it's extra hmm. you have to look into that <laughs> yeah, <sometimes. laughs> i don't like doing them so i make it so it's worth my time jordan comes in just winnie the pood no pants on <laughs> t-shirt you just come into my apartment i'm spread eagle so, yeah. all right i'll take a buzz <laughs> <laughs> a little off the top huh? <laughs> keep uh, the goatee on the nuts oh i didn't know you were coming it's like you buzzed <laughs> me in here yeah. You told me the time and place and let me in. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. I do I do like the the barber aspect though. Uh, one of my I have a joke about it. And I feel like it, it hits every time. What's that? My barber joke about me and the pupe. <laughs> yeah, the, the gray yeah. the gray hairs. Are there barbers in the United States that shave pubes? <laughs> I know a guy in town who was off the girl who was cutting his hair said, why don't you let me wax your pubes? And he's like, what do you mean? She's like, just let me wax your pubes. You just pull, you just pull down your pants and I wax them quick for you. 
Like, for, like <laughs> it wasn't like, you know, just so you know, we do all services. She's like, let me wax your pubes. <laughs> I would probably say yes. <laughs> yeah, how hot was she? I, I I don't know what she looks like, but he's like, yeah, I stopped going there after that. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like if, you, you know, you went in, you're like, hey, doc, I got a, I got a little, <clears throat> I got a cold. And the doc's like, all right, drop it and spread. <laughs> it's like, no, I have a cold. He's like, yeah, why don't you let me check your asshole, though? It's literally the doctor on scrubs. It's like, Turk, why don't you go to the doctor? He's like, I don't know, he always makes you take my pants off, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even when I had pink eye. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had 12 colonoscopies in the last year. <laughs> Give me a punch card. <laughs> when I first started at the barber's wife, Dave didn't know like what a weirdo I was, you know, because I was like being professional. It took me about eight minutes. Yeah. No, you'd figure- and we're talking in, about colonoscopies and Dave was like, Cole, have you ever had a colonoscopy? And I was like, yeah, I've had a ton. <laughs> and, he, and he's like, and I straight face, you know, he's like, what do you mean you've had a ton? I was like, well, when I was a kid, my brother's friends would give me colonoscopies <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> and he just got this super concerned look. It was good. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, everybody loves a good colonoscopy yeah. joke. Yeah. <laughs> Which also happens to be getting molested by your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson did colonoscopies on all those kids. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin, perfect health. Because <laughs> <laughs> of all the colonoscopies. Yeah. They made sure to keep an eye on anything. I put, I put the coal in colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a bit there about yeah. Michael Jackson giving a colonoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out he was a medical doctor. What do we got, Matt? Um, oh yeah, but uh, this is a first for the podcast. I got a request a couple weeks ago um, to delete one of our YouTube videos for um, someone's professional job. It was coming up when they were applying for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> How do you mean? He was like, "Hey, it came up in an interview. Do you mind deleting the YouTube videos?" And it was like one of our first ones, and I was like, "Yeah, no problem." Interesting. Yeah, Did you delete tell it? me who yeah. that was. Yeah. Rhymes with Schmate and Schmingly. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he Did he do anything? What was so wrong with the interview? Yeah. Yeah, he said he almost got in a fist fight with Julian Edelman. <laughs> yeah, he's just being an honest human being. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like corporate, <laughs> corporate America or Corp mm. Am, as you like to call it. New rule. Don't come on the fucking podcast unless we can post it to YouTube. If you're concerned about your employment, you probably shouldn't be hanging out with us in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if I if that comes up in my life, some serious changes happen. Yeah. Well, you know, we went to the same hike school as your boss, so hopefully yeah. we can. Yeah. <laughs> my knuckles say buzz cut. I think my future yeah. is sealed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Samson, oh, like one of my Samson roasts is like, he got a face tattoo proving that he will never have a normal job. <laughs> <laughs> the same night where he declared, I made $300 this month or whatever. He, was, he, he came in and the first thing he said to me was like, I made no money this week. And oh, I that's like, And was. I was like, you didn't even say hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, on that, the Samson episode, you were like very like, I want to get a tattoo, you know? Yeah. But what no, I loved true. what I lo- what I loved about it is the whole time he's like, Yeah, what if we did like this on your calf or whatever? And you're like, No, it's gotta be butthole. <laughs> like, he, he, he's like throwing out good suggestions and you're like, No, put no. it on my ass. You put it in my asshole or something. Yeah, I had a really good idea for it. Uh I forgot. You know how people I, get I barbed wire shit down. I ordered uh three stickers that um, say instead of live, laugh, love, it says live, laugh, toaster bath. And that's <laughs> toaster on it. I was thinking about getting that tattooed. You could get a, you know, people do like barbed wire around their bicep. You could do a barbed wire ring around your butthole. Uh, on your well, I'm not, it's not necessarily butthole. It's more ass cheek is what I'm going for. <laughs> I know people get like the Texas longhorn on their ass cheek. Like a sports logo on your ass would be. I, I know a guy who. It's not on his ass, it's on his lower abdomen, uh, but it's he's like, do you want to see my black cock? Mm-hmm. And then people are like, yeah, and then it's a, it's a black chicken. I have an ass tattoo. Do you? Yeah. What is it? Care to show on air? <laughs> <laughs> Got I, the tripod I, set up. I need my, it's a, actually, it's a friend it's ass a huge, tattoo. a huge swastika. <laughs> 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 have you ever seen a Tenacious D? Oh, uh, yeah. The, yeah, you know how they have the... The birthmarks that when they're put together, me and my buddy have that. So mine says Aceous D and his ass says Tanakh. <laughs> so when we stand ass to ass, it says Tenacious D. It's usually my job to be the gayest one on the podcast. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and we've had gay people on. Oh, yeah, we have. Shit. And, and that is 
far and away the I, gayest thing. I think you're conflating a uh, strong friendship with homosexuality. It's strong something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it when I see his ass. It's like Zach Rittenhouse has sex with dudes, and that's gayer than that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. How, I can't defend myself. Is the problem? It's like, what do you mean? It's just my buddy's ass and my ass together. No, I think it's got to be on the ass for sure. Mm. I don't it's know. It's from I, the movie. It's yeah. It's it's. I'm gonna get an ass tattoo strictly as an icebreaker to meet women. You know what you should do is you should run like a poll through the pot or something, and like whatever has the most votes, you have to get on your ass. That's how I name my cat. Jordan's ass. <laughs> No, I did a Twitter poll. What's your cat's name? Sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew that. <laughs> that is going to be like the N word or something. It was through Twitter. Dude, so. My favorite thing is like when people post something on Instagram and it ends up going viral. It's like, I'll do, if like this happens, I'll do the top comment. And it's like <laughs> the top comment. It will be, one of them was like, start selling crystal meth to kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see the one where it's a fat kid and, he, and the top comment was, it was like a paragraph where it's like, only eat chicken and broccoli for three months <laughs> and become a, basically that his, now he has to become a UFC fighter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, talking about uh, Twitter earlier, when I said I barely graduated high school, Twitter is the reason I graduated. Interesting. How did that come about? So in high school, I had all of the credits I needed except for I was missing one math credit senior year, which means senior year I had to pass math or I wouldn't graduate. You know, it's like you have to have three math credits or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I had a 65% math in my algebra class. That's like top 2% for Mandan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I was a valedictorian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but uh, so it, my math teacher, I don't know, uh, maybe they'll revoke my fucking diploma after seeing this, but so. Well, clearly I, this podcast is tearing yeah, apart people's yeah, professional yeah, no shit. Yeah. prowess. No, but my math teacher, uh, he was kind of a weirdo. And I had some like cute girls in my class and they're like, hey, if we get 10,000 likes on Twitter, can we not take the semester? I had to take the semester, which means if I failed, which I would because I cheated the whole semester. <laughs> I didn't know anything about algebra at that point <laughs> or now, I guess. I but, thought algebra was science. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, when are we getting to the English part of this class? Because there's a lot of letters, but nothing spells anything. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, the girls were like, if we get 10,000 likes, can we not take the semesters? And he was like a creepy kind of guy. So he's like, okay, so take a picture of us and upload it. So they took a picture with him, and on the whiteboard behind him, it said, like, the stipulation. If we get 10,000 likes, we don't have to take the test. And they posted it and got, um, like, 1,000 likes naturally, which was pretty cool. But then the night before semesters, they bought the rest of the likes we needed. <laughs> you know, like, through, twi through Twitter bots. That's awesome. So I graduated with a 65, a D minus. <laughs> if I had one less percent, I would have failed. And that's how I graduated high school. Uh, my, I did something kind of similar to that in college. I was taking accounting and I was failing the <laughs> shit out of it. And I, I literally had like a 48%. Nice. And I needed like a 98 to get like a B. Mm. The final was like 50% of the grade. And I didn't even fill out half the final. Oh. And, but the thing was, my accounting teacher was trying to sell her business. <laughs> that was, the business was selling things to gas stations, like the shirts and mm -hmm. knickknacks and stuff. She was trying to sell her business. And I happened to know someone that was doing the same business. So I connected them and she bought her business out and like saved her husband from filing bankruptcy. And I got a 99 on my final, <laughs> and I didn't even do half of it. Well, it's going to be revoked once your school goes through this podcast. Yeah. I'm not even sure my school's accredited. So <laughs> I thought Matt was going to be like, I did something similar to graduate college. I sucked my professor's cock. <laughs> <laughs> all of so, them. Matt, that's not <laughs> One guy, I wasn't even taking his class. Yeah. <laughs> There was a line, and the gym teacher snuck yeah, in. The, the guy, the, one of the maintenance guys, got in. There. <laughs> like, what do you teach in that uh, Dickies one piece? Yeah. 
<laughs> Janitorial duties. <laughs> All right, Jeff with one F. <laughs> Jeff spelt G-E-O-F-F. Uh, well, I better just get used to self-employment because I've said a lot of shit in the 194 <laughs> episodes, so... <laughs> Apparently, I, I didn't know anybody listened. You, well, you know what you should said to that guy when he's like, "Hey, it came up in an interview." You should have been like, "They watched our <laughs> podcast." <laughs> I looked, and that one had eight views. So I was like, "Okay, oh, so <laughs> we're the not really entire looking. staff of wherever he applied, the fucking <laughs> investment firm was fucking." 20 percent of the listens <laughs> someone came up to jordan and i is like yeah some girls were talking about your podcast that you guys were sexist and jordan just goes they listened to the podcast <laughs> i'm pretty sure that person was fucking with us because they won't tell me who it is and it's like well it's not a very big town i'm gonna break some fucking knees so. <laughs> get them on the pod that ruined their life too. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, that would be funny. Like get get them on the pod, a chance to defend themselves, and really, it's just I already have a deal in place by, of their employer <laughs> blackmailing them. You're like, you're gonna get a link tonight at eight. Yeah. I feel like if you really wanted to get someone fired from a job, it would not be that hard. Oh no! Whatever happened to freedom of speech? Okay, <laughs> this is America, and last time I checked, we could say what we want. And the moment we get away from that, we don't live in America anymore. It's a good time to put in a zin. Yeah, I'm zinning. This is a country that was built on freedom, okay? Land of the free, home of the brave. And I don't think it's very brave to walk into your interview with your asshole clench because you're scared of what you said on a low-grade North Dakota-based podcast four <laughs> years ago, okay? It just doesn't make any sense to me. If you didn't want that, you shouldn't have come on in the first place. You wanted the glory back then. Now you don't want the glory. I don't know where the glory lies anymore. Where do you want it? Do you want the glory or not? This is bullshit. I'm over here sweating my tits off every day. Matt's over here putting together shitty desks for people <laughs> just to come on this podcast and then request that they get it deleted from YouTube. That's not how things work, okay? Do you want the IP or not? You can buy the IP and maybe save Matt from going into bankruptcy. This is a bunch of bullshit. You hit the table and the duck turned <laughs> off. <laughs> I think I need the helmet now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel unsafe. <laughs> Jordan, why do you have a machete? <laughs> Good for one rant an episode. Dude. That one felt nice. That was the... <laughs> you need to put in like the <laughs> Star Spangled Banner behind me. I'm going to be Ed Harkin <laughs> on, on Anchorman. He's like, just put down the crossbow and let the marching <laughs> band go. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen our fair share of German pornography. <laughs> I just want Matt to start referencing movies on the pod, but it's always the wrong podcast or the wrong movie. He's done it plenty of oh, times. <laughs> mm, like, remember in Anchorman when that guy's like, I live my life a quarter mile at a time? Enough! I, I have a friend that he loves to quote movies, but just sucks at it. Like never gets it right. God, he, was trying, he was trying to do the longest yard like, we didn't get the whole chocolate bar. We got a Hershey's kiss. And it came out something like, we didn't get the whole chocolate bar. We got a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's not even the same thing. I, I hate, I have the Big Lebowski tattooed on me. And everyone who likes that movie, like, likes to talk about it, you know? And the amount of people who, like, come up to me and quote the movie, but they say the line wrong is fucking insane. It's like you came up to me and started a conversation <laughs> incorrectly. They're yeah. like, abide the dude. It's yeah. like, that's nope. That, you, you had three words to choose from yeah. and you got the <laughs> wrong order. Well, have you heard of the Mandela effect? Nelson? It's like when you think something's one way, usually it's like a logo. Like you thought yeah, there was yeah. a line under it. There's, they have that for movies. Like the, he doesn't actually say, Luke, I am your father. Mm -hmm. He says, no, I am your mm -hmm. father. It's like there's things like that where people just quote the wrong thing. What does he say? No, I am your father? Mm. That's what he says. He doesn't say Luke, what? I am. I've been father. lied to my whole <laughs> life. <laughs> it's just bullshit. Yeah. Another rant coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking Darth Vader's <laughs> not even fucking saying the right line. Jordan's like, let me hop on Amazon, order another desk. And then, no! <laughs> well, the damage I would do to this, you wouldn't even be able to know. We have... You could yank that bar off and use it as a weapon, Cole. So if you feel unsafe, just okay. grab that to defend yourself. I'll grab the lunchbox in this. Do you ever think? Don't grab the lunchbox. Do you okay. ever think about that? Like, what if I was getting attacked right now? What would I use as a weapon? All the time. Yeah, and it's shitty when you're in the shower. It's like this this squeegee and pube razor. <laughs> I don't think is going to get me out of this pickle. You don't keister a knife at all times. 
I could. Ooh, I keister two knives <laughs> at all times. Like Will Ferrell in that one movie when he keisters an entire handgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, what else we got? Well, um, speaking of shoving stuff up your ass, what did you guys think of my toilet billiards ball joke? I, there loved, there? I loved that joke. Okay. What was the joke again? Uh, I basically, I went to a hardware store and I saw a toilet that was advertising the flushing power of yeah, the toilet. Yeah, I did like that one. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. There I, was there was some good jokes. Uh last I feel like Jelena did like that was the best she's ever done. Last night. Yeah. yeah. Well, what she's gotta do since she's a couple with Brody and they, they're the comedy couple, what she has to do since we're all men, it's predominantly men, if she just roasts Brody every week, we're like, Oh she, yeah, she yeah, gets the loudest every, chant. Every, yeah. <laughs> every time Brody got roasted, everyone would be like, Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, literally a fuck you Brody chant started. Yeah. Yeah. I loved I loved the her opening with the, or just starting that sentence with so my uncle faked having cancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like my mom got hit by a car and this she's paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> there are some good bits, yeah. but the fucking drunks in the back. You know, yeah. What do you do? Oh, that I feel like my whole set last night talking about Cole hosting Jimmy V's one year anniversary last night. We got an award, no big deal. Well, it was mainly Matt, but <laughs> loop, loop me into it. Thank you, I appreciate All that. All you have to do is black out a couple Wednesdays a month. <laughs> <laughs> and you can win a twenty five dollar <laughs> gift card. Is that what it is? Oh shit, we're rich. I dude. think so. Um, my my whole set. I feel like I was just I was just being obnoxious the yeah. whole time. <laughs> the way you open was very uh, akin to your rant earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i like how matt i will say matt because matt's definitely the drunker of the two thank you <laughs> spent hundreds of Actually, dollars at jimmy v's probably over the last year and got a 25 dollar gift card <laughs> and sp- you i guarantee you spent more than 25 dollars last night. oh for sure yeah you well, did. matt doesn't believe in gift cards so i have to be in possession of it oh. and i'll have to be the one to use it I, otherwise it will never get i used. don't use gift cards that's a great duo yeah. For you, of course. Like, well, there, I there's like probably it. A, <laughs> there's a Shields one over there if anyone wants oh, it. It's yeah. like, my girlfriend hates uh, getting head, but she loves giving it. So <laughs> I think I'm going to propose. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of head, um, there is a two-headed girl that lives in, <laughs> in, in Minneapolis. Matt loves this. Dude, one of them got married. Okay, is it separate brains? Yes, but they have one body. <sighs> that's I don't know how that's a slippery slope as far as consent goes. They only have one vagina. That's what I'm saying. If head A says yes and head B says no, what do you have you seen the one of the two conjoined dudes and they say one of them's gay and they only have one butthole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be tough. Is it fucked up yeah. if I'm like it's the left one who got married? It is. Yeah, I know. I can tell by looking at them. <laughs> is that is that bad to say? Uh, no yeah i don't know like that movie stuck on you where they just have a curtain in between yeah. and always <laughs> getting laid <laughs> dude i saw this two-headed girl in a target was in it the, girls no you didn't in edina you yeah. said they live in minnesota girl. is it one girl or they're it girls. Two girls they have two social security numbers okay but That's somehow get paid i don't know they're fi- they're fifth grade teachers but i don't know if they get two salaries like i want to know their teachers yes they have a license they graduated college. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I puke a shit. <laughs> Fucking roasted, dude. <laughs> they, what grade did you say? Fifth. Fifth grade. That is fucking horrible for them. <laughs> Dude, it's like you the, have to be a college professor. You know how you know, mean like, fifth graders that's are. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't teach fifth graders and look like that. I'm not saying, I'm just, they're cute. Like, I, I would have sex with one of them. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but I'm saying a fifth grader, if I walked it. All right, Cole, uh, it's your first day of fifth grade. Uh, or, oh my gosh, yeah. she has two heads. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mom, Mom, who's my teacher? Well, it's Mrs. Blank and it's, Mrs. Blank. Well, it'd be Mrs. and Miss Blank. But <laughs> well, yeah. now they have two separate that, last that's names. What I'm <laughs> oh, I have two teachers? I'll get double the smarts. Dude, you know, you, you know, walk in, it's like, Mom, what the fuck is that? 
<laughs> my, my dad would be like, "I'm gonna get you out of the school." <laughs> yeah, no, I. Dude, you know a homeboy who married the one who's just like has like a fetish. Yeah, yeah he's, sure. a, he's an army vet. Well, it's just like, a horny dude. It's like I I've got a, a I've had a client we'll say who uh, I cut his hair and he was like a big kind of fat dude, you know. And he's telling me about his wife, and then she walked in, just a super hot like Asian girl. And I'm like, I fu- like. This all makes sense now. You know, it's like there's some guys who have like the I need a girl who's foreign or I need a girl who's like bigger. I've seen or I need a girl with or I need a girl with two heads. You know? <laughs> like, We're not going to kink shame. It's no, I I feel like the longer I talk about this, the the more likely my future is going to be compromised by this podcast. <laughs> what if one was teaching and the other one was just fast asleep? <laughs> They're working in shifts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to teach social studies. All right. I'll take a break. Just. <laughs> I'd like to know. I I want to talk to him. Yeah. I'm thinking a lot of very disturbing things <laughs> right now. What if one of them like got all like dolled up for the wedding and the one that wasn't getting married just looked like I was, shit. I was thinking that looking at that picture. <laughs> well, they only had to buy one wedding dress. Also, what if the other one gets married? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. That is a wild orgy. <laughs> <for Yeah>. Sure. <laughs> That is a thruple that I need to see the TV you take show. The right side, I'll yeah, take you're the single. Left. Maybe you should. Uh... No, she's out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are they? I don't know. Yeah, can we get a? Can we get? Do they some have a stats on there. <laughs> what and does their weight? Is it like half? I wonder if anyone's. Well, ever... the one is shorter than the other. I'm not glad. I'm kind of jealous of homeboy. I He's got two girlfriends. Yeah. They're five foot two. Uh, Wait, one, one of them, <laughs> one of them is five foot two, and one of them is four yeah. ten because their leg is shorter. Well, yeah, the what? Head. The head? <laughs> How wonky are the heads? Uh, they're pretty wonky. Okay, she's pretty though, guys. They're pretty. Oh yeah, there's definitely a three inch gap there yeah, for yeah. sure. Hmm, interesting. What if so one can ride a roller coaster at Valley Fair and the uh, other one can't? <laughs> is, it, is it hot in here? Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. Can we average? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about comedy? How do you feel about your comedy career thus far? How did you get started? Well, I got started. So I've always, like, I actually started out, like, my my goal when I, so going back to graduating, um, my, like, 18-year-old brain was, like, I'm going to make videos. Like, <laughs> me and Samson have some skits out there in the in the YouTube. Um, you better take him down, otherwise you might get fired. Yeah, Samson's <laughs> going to get fired from his business that he owns. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, but I, I started, uh, I took my graduation money and I bought like a camera and I wanted to make videos. So I would always write down sketch ideas. And then after writing down sketch ideas for a while, I, I was like, Oh, that wouldn't be a good sketch, but it would be a good bit and vice versa. So I had like a stand up list and a sketch list for years. Like I didn't start doing stand up till I was 24, I think. Yeah. 24. Um, so just basically I had a list of ideas for a, quite a while. And then uh, one day I was in town. I had just graduated, I think. Or maybe I was visiting from Fargo or something. I was about to graduate. But uh, I went to Jimmy's and they had an open mic night running. And uh, everyone there just sucked. <laughs> Dude, like 90% of the people went up were just trashed. Like, wouldn't it be funny if I did stand up? You know, like <laughs> yeah. just repeating internet memes they saw on Facebook that day. Pretty much. You know? And I, I had a list of ideas. I was with my mom or my dad, my sister, and Andrew. We were getting dinner at Jimmy's, and we didn't even know it was a thing. And they were about to shut it down. And they're like, "Well, if no one else wants to go," I was like, "Okay, fuck it, I'll go." My sister's like, "Don't, <laughs> <laughs> please I, no." Yeah, and Andy's like, ah, "You know, you can see him cringing." And I was like, "I gotta." So I went up and I did some jokes, and I would say I did on the upper half of the people who performed. You know, I didn't do great. I. One of my jokes bombed. I had a joke about uh, if I ever got famous, I wouldn't get canceled. My dad would get me canceled. <laughs> my dad's like that guy in like Marine just says whatever dirty joke is on his mind to whoever's there to listen, you know? And I, I was doing the joke. It was Nathan running the yeah. the thing. And I'm doing the joke. And I, I've never done any of this out loud. So I'm just like figuring it out as I go, you know? And I'm doing the joke and I look at Nathan and he's just like, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I was cool. Thank you. <laughs> so I just that just did that and 
I was like, this is something I want to get better at. So I just kept writing down bits. And then um, when you started uh, the open mic at the place that shall not be named, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, th- I think Erica gave you my number or Erica told me to go or yeah. something. And I went and I was like, this is fucking cool. So then I just kept doing it. And then um, by that point, there was another open mic at Jimmy's ran by someone else. And he just quit. He just didn't show up one Wednesday. Yeah. And, um, so then they reached out to me and they're like, you want to run an open mic? And I was having like a midlife crisis. So I just was saying yes to everything. You know, I'll do stand up and cut hair and deliver for rice bowl and do this and that. And I was like, fuck it. Let's- I'll suck your dick in an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. I'll add running an open mic to my list of things to do in a week. And, uh, yeah, we made it a year. So that was, you know. Yeah. I think Matt and I, we called Jimmy V's like, bef- you know, last January. Mm-hmm. Because we're like, okay, we need to get some open mics. We had another show coming up, wanted a few extra reps, mm-hmm. work out some jokes. Looking back on my set list, it's like, yeah, I definitely could have used a few extra. <laughs> I, my I, old I, sets are so shitty. I don't. I feel so bad for anybody who came to one of those first shows. I looked like, up my first, I pulled up my first set, and here's how I opened. I like to take a mental straw poll of the crowd and compare that with the jokes I'm about to tell to gauge the probability of getting my ass kicked in the parking lot after. <laughs> That's pretty good. I, I kind of like that. It's not nearly as bad as Dayton last night doing his, for uh, for the anniversary, Dayton did his first ever stand-up set at open mic last night. And, uh, it also it crossed his legs. Yeah, it was fucking <laughs> terrible. Oh, it was so bad. That's the way to do it. But yeah, Matt and I called because we were going to go check it out. And I remember the Jimmy V's employee who answered was like, yeah, we'll have open mic if they show up. I'm like, what do you, wait, what do you mean if they show up? So Matt and I just have to come down and drink and just hope somebody shows yeah, yeah. up. And Switching it to Wednesday was a real game changer. I, I don't yeah. even know what it was before. It was Mondays. Mondays. It was Mondays? brutal. I, I, well, it was, it kind of sucked because like starting out the week Mondays you just want to go home from work and die. Mm-hmm. And but then Matt and I like to fuck ourselves, and every Monday is usually our recording day, so we get done <laughs> with work. It's like, oh damn it, we still have to do the yeah, podcast. Yeah, be like record the podcast, start editing it, and like fuck, we gotta go to open mic. We'll finish this later, and it's like it was getting to the point where it'd be like it'd be like Tuesday like afternoon. And Jordan's like just uploaded the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Who edits the pod? Jordan does it audio. Itself. Yeah, okay. we don't really do it. Cut right. the ends and I quit editing years ago. <laughs> I I mean I used to be pretty uh pretty strict about it, but it is what it is. Keep I it mean, natural. You it's know, long, I it's to long. four years I'm gonna get fired from my job for all the crazy <laughs> shit I said on this <laughs> goddamn podcast. <laughs> This son of a bitch, this podcast is ruining my life. It's supposed to be helping my life, and it's ruining my life. Am I delusional? In a job interview? I don't know. So on episode 13 of a show called No Brains, No Headache, you said you pushed a toddler in front of a city bus? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Just a joke, boss. Uh, Come on, bozo. You know you have a cool boss when they listen. Like, I know a president of a particular company who gets pretty jazzed up every week for every episode. Hell yeah. And the weeks we take off, they get upset. It's like, okay, it's fucking Christmas. You like, can you chill out a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Matt wants to comment too much on that one. The fact that Matt is still employed is nothing short of shocking. Dude, it's because my impeccable work ethic. I showed up at 9.30 today. <laughs> well, you also pre-canceled yourself. Yeah, see? You ever was- seen Office Space? Yeah. I feel like Matt is... Uh, it's this, I wore sweatpants last week. Matt's the guy with the stapler from Office Space. <laughs> uh, I believe Matt you have my stapler. Matt hasn't worked here for years. <laughs> I'm Milton? Yeah, there, there's Milton. a glitch in the payroll system. Dude, we do have a creepy office downstairs that I can move into. Yeah. <laughs> we moved your office into the uh, basement. It's, so. it's, there's, there's one way into it and no windows. Someday I'm going to burn this place down. <laughs> I do say that every day. Actually, I threatened to burn down other places. <laughs> if you don't give me a raise, I'm going to burn down McDonald's. God damn <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You don't get a raise. I'll go to the other one. You know your neighbor's house? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate those guys. I got, I got relocated. It's like, oh, I didn't know Arby's had multiple <laughs> locations. Went on a five-day bender. When I came to, I was the manager of an Arby's. <laughs> <clears throat> That'll happen Backyard wrestling. Let's finish on a hot topic Ooh, here. Yeah. 
You are an amateur backyard wrestler, that's, you could say. Yeah, that's. I like to say amateur professional wrestler, but we started talking about this before Jordan showed up before we started recording. And then, like, I was I asked the question, and Cole's like started laughing. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, wait. <laughs> So every 4th of July, you guys used to do backyard wrestling. Yeah, we did it three years in a row. My uh, my nemesis, Sledgehammer, moved to Colorado. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I was know. your name? Uh, I was Dick Whiskey. <laughs> okay. Nice. So you get a, the crowd chanting, Dick Whiskey, Dick Whiskey, Dick Whiskey, Dick. <laughs> and a literally white picket fence neighborhood. There's a white picket fence you had to go through to get to the arena. So let's talk arena. It's a backyard. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, what was the ring? The ring was, uh, we had a hookup, um, for high quality uh, cardboard boxes. Okay. Uh, basic- for sure, you were gonna say mattresses. No, it's a, no, not even that. <laughs> like the falls hurt because it, it was it was <laughs> essentially just hitting the ground. <laughs> we knew a guy who worked worked at a uh, Sanford and the cardboard boxes they would ship medical supplies in they're like thick and high quality you know so we would just get about 40 of those and duct tape them all together okay and then uh i would just spray paint a giant logo on it and we would fight on that and then there would be four pillars of boxes in the corner of that and uh yeah that was could you stand on the pillar no absolutely not okay we did make uh instead of having like a, a folding table or whatever you know that you body slam someone onto we made a table out of boxes. The entire ring was boxes. <laughs> it's just paper cuts. Yeah. It's it, essentially what like seven year olds do with an old refrigerator box. <laughs> yeah, no, but so we made a giant table out like my signature move was the white claw climb. So I would climb a ladder, stone cold two white claws, and then body slam my opponent onto the table that was actually just cardboard boxes. Um, I love how you started this without saying, yeah, my nemesis sledgehammer moved to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were the other names of the wrestlers? Um, so I was, uh, actually, Ayat did it one year, too. What? The, so I met Ayat at the first one we ever did. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I thought her name was Haya. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I was Dick Whiskey. Tyler Reitz is sledgehammer. He he also Tyler's a goofy guy. He never could decide if it was sledgehammer or sludgehammer, <laughs> so it was both. Like literally, the, the announcer uh, Matt was our ref. Uh, Matt sang the national anthem, and Matt also sang another song after the show, like a post fight concert thing. Wow. Imagine the neighbor going out like, "Who the fuck oh, is singing the, the national?" Anthem? They called the cops on us. I think they did. Yeah. It's just a bunch of guys with Aspergers tackling it's each other. It's like the 4th of July. Yeah. Like, we had, our friend does. Was he, it in Mandan? Yeah. It, it, Up by Fort Lincoln. Yeah, in Mandan, literally fireworks are going off at all places. The cops have bigger fish to fry. My buddy, he's a pretty legit DJ. Like, he just opened for Bo- Borgor. Like, two Oh, I weeks totally ago. know who that is. I believe it's yeah. Borgois. Borgois. <laughs> he, uh, so we took all his sound equipment, and he would, like, we had walkout songs. We had like fight music, all that stuff. So we'd be blaring that. Oh, yeah. I think that's what got the neighbors the most mad. Um, but yeah, so I was Dick Whiskey, Tyler's Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer, uh, my buddy's wife. I, I'm not going to say her name because she actually has a really legit job, <laughs> like running a company in town. What's her wrestling name? Uh, Can you share that? Yeah, Scary Carrie. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, she fought the Harry Fairy. Uh, do you guys know Brooke Turnus? No. Okay. Yeah, she fought. But I mean, I, the, the rivalry. <laughs> let's let's yeah. quit name dropping. We're going to get well, people fired <laughs> because they are on YouTube on No Brains, yeah. No Headache. What if this ridiculous. is what catapulted their amateur wrestling career? Uh, Independent wrestling career. The Harry Fairy, uh, she glued in. Like, she bought a wig and cut it and glued hair into her armpits. So when she lost the fight. Uh, the other girl ripped the armpit hair out and then like body slammed her. Like it was, dude, we had a good time. I'm slightly turned on. It was, it was a good show. Uh, and then the, uh, the last year was a yacht was, um, the merciless Mary Jane. And she was like a weed themed wrestler. No. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, she fought, um, fuck. What was the other? It was some. It was a play on Goodfellas. It was something like that. Like she, she walked out to like rags to riches and stuff like that. Uh, that was um, Whitney. 
fuck. What was so you had all sort. You had the women wrestling as well. Yeah, yeah. We we Wait, is that the whole objective here is just to get yeah. two women to wrestle each yeah. other. And Spank Bank has been refilled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got walked in on the first fight, and I was like, "All right, next year she's gonna sign up." No, but uh, when I met her at the first one. Uh, I was like, oh, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And she had a firecracker, and she put it in my pocket, and she's like, I'm going to blow you up. And I was like, that feels really racist. And she's like, it is. As a Middle Eastern woman, I didn't know what to do. I was thinking of my niche, and I was going to be the white terrorist or the white towel head. (laughs) That's a little redundant. (laughs) You would have to do, like, a Seamus thing, like, uh, Uh, you know, like Irish. I'm going to lean into Maddie Applesauce. Just eat a bunch of applesauce. Dude, I <laughs> yeah, get I, an industrial thing of applesauce. <laughs> I love that you uh, gave yourself a nickname. Yeah, it, it's that it, is the coolest. It's, it's essentially what my entire family does. Yeah, but but it never works. I have never met someone who tried to give themselves a nickname, and it pans out. You have people chanting applesauce when you walk into a room. Yeah, Every, I know a guy who tried to give himself a nickname. You know what it was? Shredder. He was a skateboarder, and he's like, yeah, I want my nickname to be Shredder. Well, that's just fucking lame as he, hell. That was in middle school. We bully him to this day. He's a father. You know? like <laughs> We started bullying his kids, yeah. too. It's like, you know your dad's a fucking loser? He gave himself a nickname <laughs> in the fucking eighth grade. <laughs> hey, go punch your dad in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I gave myself an alter ego. I don't think it's more of a nickname. You know, Cowboy Gordon. Yeah, that... That's different, I think. Yeah. An alter ego. It's like Dick Whiskey, you know? Yeah. I, you have to. You should bring Dick Whiskey out every once in a while. Yeah, we can have him on the podcast next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Cowboy Gordon will interview him and Seamus O'Malley or whatever yeah. the fuck we have. <laughs> Seamus Applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> How about Shameless Applesauce? <laughs> uh, if I get into a real, like, I can go down a rabbit hole of just staying in an Irish accent the whole time. Do but I, I can't. Do, do a, give me a little taste. All right. <laughs> Oh, I heard it. This is so bad. <laughs> I have to get in the moon. Just peer pressuring, Matt. Hard dude. stars, and harsh shoes. Is that I, is that the setup? I can't. I got to get into it, but I can't. So let's just end this episode. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that was episode 194. Do you want to plug anything, Cole? You got a show coming got up. Got 420 show at Dakota Stage. Tickets are going quick. Um, you can find them online under, I think it's just called Bismarck Comedy Show. <laughs> it's the best way to do it. Yep. It's a little little vague to find, but it's also like. No, because people are going to go. They're going to type in Bismarck Comedy. Yeah. yeah. So uh, three days of thought went into naming that show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no it's Samson, like in a fevered state, like, ah, fuck it. This is what it's called now. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got the 420 show. Um, if you want a haircut in Bismarck, come to the barber's <laughs> wife. Nice. Uh, just got two bad reviews, so we could pump that up with some good ones. I don't know. I'll leave one. Thank you. A bad review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yes. we need good reviews. Yeah. Don't tarnish Dave's business. <laughs> you should hire Matt and I to go kick the shit out of these people. Like the person I'm going to kick the shit out of who said that they got to delete the episode they're on of YouTube because they had a job interview, okay? I can somehow hear your blood pressure rising, <laughs> so make sure to follow us on YouTube and I was going to go sober, Instagram. and now I'm going to go start drinking. Facebook, I don't have any TikTok, self-control. At MBNH Podcast, search No Brains, No Headache. Let's get out of here. 195 coming up next. This is a freestyle to the top of the dome. Here we go. And I do it again, 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 again. I do it only once. Again, 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 again.